Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. So, I got an interesting video. I mentioned the other day, I think it was in one of my videos. Make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Sugar bear, get off the tripod. Shuggles. Okay. They're running wild. As soon as I say welcome back, they are like, Shh, here they come. So, anyways, I found... Sugar's got me all messed up already. I found some hand sanitizer. Now, it is a bit pricey, but for the circumstances... Shug, sit down, please. Go play. You say hi in the next video. You can say hi. Anyways, I found some hand sanitizer. It is a bit pricey, but I haven't... Sorry, guys. I'm like... Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I do apologize. That's like I can't go a whole video filming with lipstick on my teeth. Got peanuts on my desk. Okay. Let's get into it. So, I found some hand sanitizer, and I do not want to take the credit for this. Um, I, we're going to go, I think it's Kitty Sub Boxes, and Kitty has amazing videos from all sorts of sub boxes. So, if you shoot over there, tell her Kaya Simon's Life sent you. It's always good to let people know where you came from and let our little community shine. So, in Kitty's video, it's not Kitty's code. I read down in the description, and she mentioned it, that she used a code. It is not Kitty's code. I don't know who Jackie is. Anyways, long story short, I'm not affiliated with Kitty. I'm not affiliated with Jackie, but... Sorry, we got our lights all off here. Anyways, I like to save money, and I like you guys to save money, too. I am not affiliated with Kitty. I am not affiliated with whoever Jackie is. And I'm surely not affiliated with Ofra. Now, I just am giving you this link if it even works. Always do your research. If this does not work, this code, like I said, Kitty just said Jackie. And I typed it in and I'll be doggone it. It worked. It saved me like $12. And you know I'm all about, your girl was all about saving money. And I'll explain. Basically, it made one of the things free. Honey, I not pick you up. I not pick him up. I not pick him up. So, basically, it saved me like $12. So, it was kind of like getting something for free. That's kind of how I always like to look at things. Like, ooh, I kind of got this free. So, Jackie, all in caps. J-A-C-K-I-E, all in caps. If that does not work, dig around and see. Always before you buy anything, dig around and see if you can find a code. That is what I do. I love to try and save a couple bucks. And then with the couple bucks that I saved, I'll show you. I got to order something else. So, it kind of makes me feel good. It's like, ooh, I saved a couple bucks. And I can get this too. Now, when I... Let me check it out here. I like to make sure... Um, okay, so... If you do, is O-F-R-A Ofra Cosmetics dot com. Wow, it is not picking it up at all. O-F-R-A Ofra Cosmetics dot com. Now, see this? If you want $10 off... Here, it's the ring light, guys, is what it is. If you... Well, it's not. If you want to sign up $10 off of 25 you send them your email, and then you get your code. There we go. Kind of. So, always do your research before you order something. Put your email in, and then see if your code comes. So, what I did was... I did that code, and then I was like, the Jackie code saved me more. So, you could always punch in your codes. I put my code in for that, and the, excuse me, the Jackie code took, I think that was 10 off of 25, and the Jackie code ended up taking like $12 off. So, you can always punch in one code. If one works better than the other, just switch them out, play with it a little bit, see what your numbers are, and when I put in their code, it actually bumped up the price like two more dollars. So, at the time, there was free shipping in the U.S. for $40 or over. So, I kept being at like $35, and I was like, what's the point in paying $5? I can get another item. Now, these items are still available, 
And there is mask. If you're in desperate need, they are a bit pricey. They're $15. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Let me see here if I cut. Yeah, it's just we're getting really... So, they're $15, if you can see here. They have kits for $25. They have minis. They have little hand... They have big boys, and they have wipes, little mini hands, and long story short, the list goes on and on and on. There's headbands. I wish they would have had this mask when I ordered the other day. But it seems like they are kind of catering to what is going on. Yeah, see, this mask nor the headband was available the other day. I would have loved this headband to put on. Um, I have my little Velcro one, but I just would like one that slips over the head. Sometimes my Velcro one keeps coming undone. They got brush cleaner disinfectant spray. Uh, that one's sold out. But anyways, you could do like notify me. Long story short is the hand sanitizer kits, the masks, the headbands, the wipes, the disinfectant sprays, the Big Daddy hand sanitizers are available. So, let me check out and make sure I am saying Kitty's name right. I went over Amy's video. There's nothing going on. Amy's life journey. Um, she balks with Allie a little bit and then talked about um, taking her kids to get Frosties. Amy, Frosties are not... Yeah, it's Kitty's sub boxes here. And we're going to step into the world. This is what Kitty looks like. Man, you guys, Kitty has amazing giveaways. She's always got all kinds of sub box. I mean, just look. If you're into sub boxes, she's very polite. She's not into the drama. So, don't go over there. If you are a troll, Kitty has nothing to do with me. She probably doesn't even... Yes, yeah, she's... Um, oh, God. This little bulldog has his head on my leg. Hold on, baby bulls, and I'll pick you up. But anyways, Kitty's not in the community. She has her own thing going. Please don't go over there with the nonsense because she ain't about that life. And she don't even know who any of these people are. I'm one of her subscribers, as you can tell. But she's not into the shenanigans. She's very quiet, very polite. She likes to do a little, drink a little bit of wine and do her sub boxes. She's not about the drama life. So, let's get into things. And yeah, the code Jackie got me twelve eighty off. It's Jackie, I-E, all in caps, took 12 ID off. Little bulls, come here. Set down, there's no food up here. Set down, Mr. Bot. If you're going to set up here, be a good boy. So, these are the disinfectant sprays, and these are $5. These are two, two flood ounces, 24 milliliters. They come very nicely sealed. They are all nice and plastic up so they do not spill. They have a lid here. You know what, guys? Let's go ahead and pop one open. It looks like some did come out a little bit, but it's all still in there. So, um, man, I should have got my scissors. Mr. Pigs, you cannot have this. Oh, guys. Wow, oh, Mr. Pigs, you're not making my life eat. No, you can't have that, Simon. Simon, no. Simon. I know why they're called bulldogs for a reason, guys, because they are bullheaded little buddies. Sorry, guys, I should truly had my scissors here for us. Okay, hold on, guys. I want to be... Simon, you're not making life easy, bud. You're just not for mama. And I don't want to take... Oh, guys, I apologize. Here we go, here we go. These daggone claws come off. Here we go, here we go. Okay, little bulls, quit. Sime, so I'll pick you up in a minute. I don't think it's very safe to have you around chemicals and alcohol. <laughs> Simon. Okay, so these are the $5 disinfectant sprays. I got three of them, which was $15, and I got the $12.80 off. I thought that was amazing. So it was like basically getting two and a half of these for free. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm always unprepared. Okay, let's give this a spray and see what here. If, um, I got a little peanuts from... Check out my foodie video. We do drink of the day. Man, look. It comes out. I mean, look at the desk here. Can you see right there? 
It comes out very... So you can smell the alcohol in it. Let's clean up my desk here and give it a good... Give it a good cleaning. Yeah. Very, let's see if it feels... Doesn't feel sticky. So yeah, I thought, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I've been finding cans of Lysol, well, knockoff brands. Seventh Generation is a really good plant-based brand. I like some of their cleaning supplies. I try not to do a bunch of chemicals with the dogs, but yeah, just very smooth and just not like you don't feel a residue. So yeah, I really like this, honestly. I think that's a great deal for $5, especially. It says, use surface, wipe with off with a clean towel. <laughs> Simon with this toy, but look, it's nice and full. But I think for five bucks, I think that's a great deal. So I picked up three of these. And then I picked up... Now, this I thought was an extraordinary deal. These were... These were $10 each. And they're good and full. I checked. And it's got... Put it on your palms, cover hands, rub together bristly until dry, meets CDC guidelines over 60% alcohol. Look at that. That is nice. I'm trying to see what I could compare it so you guys can see. Now, these are just little guys, these sprays, and these are more like a shampoo bottle, like a small shampoo. So, I thought these were a great deal for $10 because I've been, I got a luck strike the other day. I should have brought them up. I found two little hand sanitizers in the baby section and it was $7 and they were this big and they were barely full. So, check the baby, sorry guys, check the baby, I mean, look in different places, check your travel, check little gas stations, check in places that you normally wouldn't check for things. Like I said, I checked the baby, you can check different different gas stations or little, you know, country stores and check the travel, check like the car sections. But I looked everywhere and weren't in luck. So I got both these were $10 each. And then this was free. A little pack of wipes. So yeah, I don't know if because I was the first time signing up or since I hit over 40, the free shipping. I don't know. It didn't mention anything about these wipes. Wipes, and then it came up, claim your free gift, and I was like, boom. Sure enough, I checked my basket, and it said free. So, <laughs> excuse me, these are 100% cotton, and it's 15 pieces. So, these are regularly, on my receipt here, $7. Now, they do show up on your receipt as $7, but I went back and checked my email, because I was like, I didn't ask for these, and I really didn't need them. But... These were, they do show in your receipt, but in my email, it said free. So, if you see this, pop and check it, and they do come up free. So, they're not the biggest pack of wipes. You can see my finger here, but 15 wipes for free. I will take it. And then, they got a new palette out. It's called the Glitch 2000. I wanted to show that. I won't be buying it. I got a lot right now. I kind of looked. There was a bundle I would have liked to have, but it sold out as quick as can be. And then there was a little package. I'm not going to run stairs downstairs and get it. But, you know, just like your tiny little packs that you get samples. Just a, There was a free uh, pack of hand sanitizer. So, check your box when you get it. It was under the bubble wrap. So, I almost threw that away. So, I thought, I want to go ahead and put that in my purse. But, this is what the palette looks like. It's called Glitch 2000. I'm not affiliated. Um, there's some new lippies out. They're 19, and then this says 29, but check around for the code. Like I said, here's the colors. I'm not affiliated with any of this, but yeah, always do your research. But yeah, so this was in the box. Lift up your bubble wrap because this and the free hand sanitizer pack was under there. So yeah, there was a bundle to this I would have loved to had, but I was like, no, Kaya... A, the bundle was sold out, but I was like, I don't need another palette right now. I did go ahead and pick this up to mark. I was at $35 with all this, and I was like, why not just spend another 5 and hit the free shipping instead of just wasting $5 on shipping. So, we got two Big Daddy hand sanitizers, a free pack of wipes, and three little disinfectant. 
Now, we got this kit here. I will say this bag, it says Perfecting Beauty Every Day. And it's got the little Ofra symbol here. It's got the hollow. And then it's got the Ofra label here. Two little metal zips. Now, this bag is just a cheap bag. It's very thin, as if you can tell. And, you know, I didn't get it for the bag. That's not why I got it. But the hollow bundle that matched the glitch stuff was a big bag like this that this would have went perfect in. But it's got your little thing down here. Now, this is called the Day Dream Pack. Day Dream Pack. This was regularly... Let me check here, guys. I want to say this was regularly 54 or 59 Oh, I already, um, sorry guys, and I'm offline. I do apologize. My internet, I've mentioned this before, my videos have been, between all my devices, it has been like heck on high wheels. So, if I'm a little late to the party on some of these videos, I do apologize. And it's just, it is what it is. I made that foodie video and literally was like, Boom. There was only one other person, one vlog away, had it up. And I was like, cool, I'm right in there. My timeline uploaded. I was like the last person. I wasn't going to upload it. And I was like, you know what? I spent time on that. Yes, ma'am. Hold on, guys. I want to give you the facts. So, anyways, long story short, I got this down to... Yeah, uh, good God. Here I go. So... This was regularly $54, and it was $29, and I think with my $12.80 off, I think it was like $23, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to show you guys, is this still available, is what my game plan was. Well, anyways, guys, I don't want to keep you too long in this, but... This is the Daydream Pack. Daydream Pack. So, this is what I'm wearing on my lips. And the highlight that I have on tonight is this. So, I went a little bit heavy just to show you guys what you... You know, your girl goes heavy on the highlighter anyways. I always be like, I'm just going to put a little bit. And then I get on, I'm like, ooh, this is pretty. Oh, you can barely see it. This is pretty. And then I get on video and I'm like... Whoa, holy smokes. <laughs> but, you know, I like to take things to the max. So, this is what this highlighter is right here. And then the lipstick is what I have on. So, the lipstick, they're very little, but I think they're decent. So, this is Sanibel. Make sure I'm reading it here. Yeah, Sanibel Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick is a rose nude. And that's this. And it's not very big, but I'll definitely get a couple uses out of it. And I think it's just perfect for me. I have so much other product that I like little things like this. Because you know your girl finds new stuff and off on to the new one. So, I don't need a bunch of big things right now. This little kit was perfect. Honestly, I've never tried Ofra 2. That's when I seen this on Kitty's video. And I was like, hot dog. And I thought, you know what? I've always heard of Ofra highlighters. Let me go ahead. Now, this is my chance. Why I'm placing an order for necessities to kind of get something, a little bit of a gift for me. Kind of just something cool to take, you know. You know, I'm always, but it's got the Ofra label on here. But I think this is perfect. And it was definitely full. So, I mean, you don't have to worry about it being half full. It's not full. So, you get that. And then your next one you get is more like a berry, like a pinkish. And again, it's the Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And this one is unzipped. And we'll go ahead and swatch them, guys. Um... I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. Let's wait on the berry one, but I'll show you the difference in between. I don't like opening up a bunch of stuff all at once, but I did use this tonight. So you guys see, sorry about the busted nails. It is what it is. So this one's more of a berry. This one's more of a nude. Let's go ahead and swatch this and we will um, save the other one for another day or when I do wear it. Um, where are we going here? When I do wear it, I will mention what it is. So, that is what it is. Sorry, I do have skin um, sun marks. 
That's what those little bumps are from the sun. But look at that. It's nice and creamy. It dries down really good. It's very smooth. Look. Just a very... Just very smooth. That's why I like it. So look, I mean, it's not shiny. It's more of a matte. You do get a little shine, but that's my ring light. But I like it. It's very easy to use. I don't even feel like... I don't even... Excuse me. That is always my biggest thing, like, to be talking. But I don't even feel like I have it on is what I'm getting at. So there you go. I think it's pretty cool. And I think, like I said, these are just enough for me to decide if I like it. If I don't, I could always get more. But your girl is a makeup queen. So I did not need any more. Let's go ahead and try these wipes out here. Let's see what they're all about. Let's go ahead and get into these pups. So they're just got your resellable thing here. And you could always put these in a little tub like the Charmin things or if you have like a little box. Man, why did I find a bunch of blinged out boxes the other day, like for your potty wipes or your makeup wipes? But good God, some of that blinged. Why did I order a Febreze bottle and they returned my money because somebody else had already got them all? I'm like, thanks a lot, Trisha Paytas. Okay, so my sun marks are stained a little bit, but look, I mean, just really came off. But, yeah, my hands are really dry right now, so, you know, probably it's just me, to be honest with you. Um, washing my hands constantly. They have been dry. I've been lotioning, but nothing seems to be working. So, yeah, look. Yeah. They're not. They feel really nice and moist. You know, I always say when they're juicy, I cannot stand a dry makeup wipe in any shape, way, or form. So, I think these are going to be great. I'm, I, for free, I'll take them. Okay, so, let's move right along to our highlighter. So, this is what it comes in here, guys. You get your two little things in here, and then you get your pouch here. Like I said, guys, this is just a very cheapy thin. I mean, look how thin that is. It's like paper thin, but... It's a cool little pouch. I wish they wouldn't have put the sticker on it. I'll probably have a heck of a time getting that off. Um, but it does, you know, have the two snaps here. I think they're magnetic. Yeah, they are magnetic, but it's cute. <laughs> I wish this would be my thumbnail. But anyways, so you get your holo bag. I didn't order for the bag. I wanted to just test their products. Sorry about that. They always do me bad on the thumbnail. So I try to pick a cool one. And then it's like me with my eyes closed or in the middle of talking. They do me bad. So to the highlighters. So you've got this one here. This is the Blissful Highlighter. And it's really, let me hit the ring light. It's showing this as, well, that didn't do me justice. This is kind of more like a brown. It is, there we go. Let me try and... Yeah, so this is more like a brown, if you can tell. And then it's got like a gold reflective, but the camera's kind of doing it weird. It's kind of like your rose gold, because the next one is, um... Let me see if I can play around with this so it's not... Yeah, okay, so this is more like a brownish type, more like a rose gold. It's really coming off tan, but it is like a rose gold with like a gold effect. And then we'll do a swatch. I just want to show you. They're probably unfortunate. Now, the packaging feels kind of cheap, but again, I'm not going to be taking them anywhere. And they're just perfect size just to fit into your little containers or, you know, when all this is over, if you are going on vacation. Nice, small travel. They're very sturdy containers, but they don't feel really too. Okay, so this was the Blissful. It's kind of like a rose gold, not really picking it up too good. And this is your Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This is one of their most um, sold ones I read. So this is like your typical brown, kind of like your gold. This is your typical highlight. When highlight really first started hitting the scene, um, this is kind of like, you know, like your brown. But uh, let's go ahead and we will swatch both of these. Now, what I am wearing is 
the Blissful. Like I said, they're really coming. Let's see if here. Let's pop them open and see if you can tell. So you got Rodeo Drive and then Blissful. You can see the difference. Yeah, okay, now you can see the difference. Rodeo Drive and Blissful. So your Bliss was more like a brown rose gold, and this is your typical gold light tan. Okay, let's do the Blissful, what I'm wearing. Now, I was very impressed. I had always heard about these. Very buttery indeed. Sorry, I like to get a good swatch here for you. Look at the light reflect off that. Isn't that gorgeous? Sorry about my sunspots over here. I do apologize. But yeah, look at that. Boom. Reflection, baby. Look at that. That looks like gold when the light hits it. Okay, let's do our makeup wipe here. Okay. Sorry, guys. Now, I, it is staying on there, but I did go in hard. Yeah, I did really go in a very hard. I like to give you guys a good swatch. Not like a little piece of slime in here. Over here, let me put that in the bag. And if you always see me throw stuff over here, I do get a little trash thing over here. I'm not just winging stuff on the ground or throwing it on my dresser. Um, I do have a little... Now, the lipstick, you can kind of still see a tiny bit. Okay, let's do the Rodeo Drive. And I'm trying to hurry, guys. I know I always say this is going to be a quick video, and it never, ever is. Let's go in right here so I don't have to show you my poor sunspots again. Again, I'm going in very deep. I like to show you guys a really, really nice Make sure the camera's picking it up. And look at that. Sorry, that was, wow, that was probably not a good, that was a dumb place to swatch. I apologize. I'm still learning, guys. I'm still learning. Bear with me here. So, this is just more like a gold, a little bit more. It's coming off completely gold, but it is like a peachish, kind of like a light brown. But the camera's really picking it up gold. So, yeah, here, let me see if my finger... Yeah, the camera's picking it up gold, but it does have, like, a tan, peachy, but, yeah, you're just getting straight gold. So, they do have amazing reflection, I will say that. They're very soft and buttery, and, yeah, I like it so far. I will keep you posted, but so far, so good. I've never had any Ofris products. Um, I have not had any... Um, of their eyeshadow palettes. So let me know if anybody does end up picking up this Glitch 2000. Let me know about this. I wonder how their eyeshadows are. So, so far a hit for me. The highlighters seem amazing. Shake some of that off. Um, the highlighters seem amazing. I think these were a great idea for not buying a full size. I like that I have two different choices with summer coming. A little more brown, a little more tannish, peachy gold. And I really like that. I, I love to have, I guess I'm like more about trying different things than just having one thing. I like little kits like these because, you know, you can sample things. So, I'm a big fan of the lip uh, lippies so far. The long-lasting liquid lipsticks. So, yeah, so I'm impressed. I think I spent $51 and some change altogether. I think it was $51.20 or $51.80. No more than $52. And I totally think it is a cool little kit. And I think this is the way to go. With me being new to Ofra, I wanted to kind of dibble-dabble. And I like to have a variety of things. So... Let's move on. I got a couple other things, and I will let you guys go. Let me get a swig of my tea here. So, I picked up a couple things. Um, and let's see. So, I went to Giant Eagle, and I picked up a couple things. So... Your girl's been staying. Once I go shopping, I try to stack up, make a list of everything I, I get. I like the boogie wipes. These are the boogie wipes. Now, 
be like, Kaya, I know you're a grown woman. Well, the thing with the boogie wipes is it's gentle saline for stuffy noses. This one's grape scented, extra soft. And these are the boogie wipes, but boogie wipes, excuse me, God, guys, I don't know if it's the reflection or what, but anyways, the boogie wipes are truly expensive. Two packs of boogie wipes, the value pack, was $10. I was like, no, man. So, basically what this is, this is the Pole Control. This is Smart Care brand. And these were $1.49. And they're just little saline, non-medicated. They have, like, aloe in, and they have, like, all this stuff in. But it soothes, refreshes, and cleans. Basically, it's just kind of like a wet wipe. If you start to get, like, your nose crusty or dry... Um, that's kind of what it is. So, $1.49, you cannot, uh, that's so much better than $10 for two packs. So, the boogie wipes are good, don't get me wrong. My grandma was like, boogie wipes? And then I was going to get the boogie wipe two pack, and she's like, well, aren't those the saline wipes? I was like, yes, Graham, you did amazing. So, I got two of these, $1.49 each. And then I got... This is a discontinued product I seen they were going to discontinue. And I like that you can just put this in your pocket, or I mean your purse. Summer's coming. You could even put like a carbiner or those hooks on it and latch it, you know. But put it in your purse or your little backpack or travel bag. And it's just Neosporin on the go. Um, Say, you know, I cut my toe, you know, your girl is always accent prone, so I think they're going to discontinue these, so I picked this up, I do like that it's just got a spray pump, that way if you're out and about, don't have any wipes on you, you can use that, and then I got this, your girl's feet need love, I was about, I got my nails done, I was like, I'll wait a couple more weeks, summer's coming before I get another pedicure, well, no place is open. So it's got the pumice stone here and then it's got the brush. This was on clearance for two dollars regularly. Um what is that? Regularly $3.99 for bucks, you might as well say. This is Eco Tools. Eco Tools is good. So I was like, this is handy and I will use it. I like to find cheap things on clearance. And then I was gonna get a razor, and lo and behold, look what I seen. The Hello Kitty Limited Edition Chic Razor. It's got one razor and four. This is the Sensitive Care one. The They do have a pink one, the main Hello Kitty, and it's just the regular one. But I wanted the Sensitive Skin one. Let's go ahead and bust it out. Yeah, this is the Aloe Vitamin E one. I think the pink one is just regular. I like the green. That is why I picked it. And I like the Sensitive one. Anyways, so you get your four shook refills here, and then, oh, sorry, Boogie Lou. Where'd it go, Bug? All right, well, we'll find that when it's over. Okay, and then this is your handle. Is that not cute? So, I like the green. I'm trying to come out of the pink stuff a little bit. I used to be everything pink. And it's like, now that I'm getting a little bit older, I kind of prefer more greens, mints, blues, purple. So, I thought this was lovely. So, you just stick one of your refills on here. Goes right there and boom, you're good to go. Now, these are the refills that have... Um, it's got like... A shave gel where you don't hear. Let me try not to mess this up. It's got... The Chic Intuition has like the thing here. that It's like you don't need shaving cream like the bar. That keeps it moisturized. So yeah, I probably didn't need this razor. But I was like, you know what? I don't know when I'm going to go shopping again. You might as well. Summer's coming. You can never have too many razors. And I've seen this razor out before. It is limited edition. And I missed the last run of it. Where is... There it is. I missed the last run of it. So I was like... So basically, you can always find these. And then you'll just have... This is reusable. And you just go ahead. And from now on out, you can get these. They always make these. But this is limited edition. The handle. If you are into the pink Hello Kitty. The original OG colors. There is a pink one of these. And this again is... 
I know a lot of people have been ordering things. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. These are just things that I like that I show you. It's the Schick Intuition Limited Edition Hello Kitty. And this is the Sensitive Skid one, the Aloe and Vitamin E. All right, guys. Well, that about does it, I think, for our haul. No, I want to mention one other thing right quick Why we are here. Sorry, guys. You might as well get a snack and get a drink when you hang out with your girl because I always try to be fast between the dogs, and then I look around, and I'm like, ooh, wait a minute, there's something else. Or, you know, there's always something I want to tell you guys. Check out my Foodie Beauty video. It tells about getting the free Botanica air freshener um, or oil. However, check Foodie Video out and it explains that it is time related. So go ahead and check that out. You only have till the 19th to get one of these free. Uh, explain it in the Foodie Video. I don't want to make this a million. So go to the Foodie Video with Pete's Mukbang and it'll explain. You only have till the 19th to get that. Sorry it is time related. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Hold on. So, back to what I'm wearing today, I mentioned in my foodie video. I don't like how this glitter, look how that patches up. When you lay that, it is stuck on there. I tried to wipe, this side isn't too bad, but look at this side. I wanted just a little sprinkle, just a tiny bit. I put a little bit on my brush, laid that, and it would not let me take it off. I tried to wipe it with a tissue, and it was like... It wouldn't go anywhere. It's stuck, guys. So until I wash my face or until I use a makeup wipe, I was like, God, I already had my whole eye look done and then patted that on there. So that is why I'm so blinged out and I use this. So I don't know how I feel about this. Let me crack this open and explain to you the faults. Now, I've always said this. The best palette that they've came out with is the Jeffree Star Morphe collab. That is the best one that I've came across yet. I'm really not a fan of the other Morphe palettes. I'm sorry, guys. They're really powdery. I know to each their own, and if you can work with them, amazing. My friend Skinny Legend, shout out to Skinny Legend. Check him out if you haven't. It's Skinny and Ledge and Jen. Hit me up. Check out Skinny Legend. But he is a makeup artist. And even he's like, the Morphe palettes are kind of, they're kind of garbage. So I wanted to give Morphe one more run. This is the 24A Artist Pass palette. Now, let's go into the highs and lows on this palette. Okay. <clears throat> if you're not a glitter fan, this palette is probably not for you. A. It is a very in-your-face, hold on, I cannot stand when my palettes get dirty. I don't like a bunch of fallout everywhere. All right, I think your girl is just making it worse than it was. Okay, so let's get into the ups and downs with this palette, the good, the bad, and all around. So you got a good mirror, that's a plus, I'll give them that. Always a nice handy mirror. I know some people don't care about a mirror sometimes, but... They're good to have. Do I, you know, have tons of mirrors? Most definitely. So, these are the glitters that once... There's no dabbing a little bit of these on. They have, like, some kind of... I don't know. Like, hold on. Let me show you guys here. They have, like, a cream base. I mean, look at that. There's nothing wrong because, I mean, but... I mean, look. Watch this, okay? Okay. They're very pretty, don't get me wrong. And if you need glitter, this is a great palette. If that's what, you know, you're looking for, you know, say you, like, have a bunch of concerts. You know, I'm not saying right now with all that's going on, you know, with the situation. But say you're a festival goer or a lot of concerts or you do a lot of theatrical makeup or, you know. But look, that is on there. I mean, once you lay that, look at that. I am wiping and it's just wiping to another area. So, that's the only thing. I mean, it's beautiful glitter. Don't get me wrong. It is absolutely stunning glitter. It's got a little bit of blue that runs through the glitters. But, what I'm saying is, there's just no way to grab a little bit of it. So, when you be careful, if you want a little bit of glitter, you be very careful. Because, 
there's just no getting a little bit of glitter. Now, what I did here on the top, if you see that little bit of sparkle, I tried to use this Private Oasis here. Check this out. Private Oasis is almost like a highlighter glitter, but it's not really, look, it's more like, these feel like creams, like this here, look. See how that moves? That is like a cream. So all four of these here are like creams. Now, I really did like this all access. I like this hashtag FOTD. Same with this glitter. This personal persona, this light purple, I just kept laying it on. I wasn't getting much. This purple I used up in here minus the glitter. I just, it had a lot of fallout and I just kept laying it. So this palette is decent, but would I buy it again? Negative. Are the glitters cool? They're beautiful glitters, most definitely. I mean, this is a very unique year. This reminds me of Summery. It's really picking up on camera orange, but it's kind of like a yellow-orange mixture. So, kind of hit or miss on this. I really think the stars was a cool idea, if you notice. This one here has stars in it, but you really have to use glitter glue or something. They're just, I mean, look. There's nothing you can do with those. Um... You're going to have to use a glitter glue. So, it's almost like you were better off them sending like a little thing of loose stars as a bonus with some glitter glue. So, I don't know, guys. If you're looking for a bold palette and you know how to work Morphe palettes, it's probably a fit for you. But I'm still learning how to work the Morphe palettes. I'm a Jeffree Star girl. I love me a buttery, easy to blend. So, I'm going to say this is kind of about a 5 for me. A 5 out of 10. If you know how to work Morphe, I think the collabs, like I mentioned, are better, excuse me, than the regular Morphe palettes. My favorite Morphe palette, like I just said, is the Jeffree Star collab. It was buttery. Now, some of the mattes were full outy, but the shimmers were buttery. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I know it's always long and I try not, but I just like to give you guys a heads up on things that I've used after a while. You know, when I first get them, I'm like, ooh, this is awesome. And then the more that I start to use it, it's like, yeah. Could your girl probably have dealt without this and your, could your girl probably not have bought it? Most definitely. Now, the setting spray is absolutely amazing. The setting spray is definitely a hit. This is worth it. And I think this was only eight or ten bucks. Don't quote me, I'm not for sure, but I think this was ten bucks, if I'm not mistaken. And it's peach, it smells identical to peach rings. Now, another thing that I showed, sorry, it's kind of like a recap. I've been wanting to show you guys. These were absolutely amazing. I do not like Jacqueline Hill. I think she runs away from her problems. She didn't address the whole lipstick gate. I think Jacqueline Hill is one of those type of people that she loves the money that YouTube brings, but she genuinely has lost touch, and she doesn't care about her subscribers at this point, and she's just gotten into the industry and kind of sold out. And don't quote me. Maybe at the beginning, she was genuine, but I do think throughout the years, she has become a sellout, and it's been more about the money. I think she should have addressed the lipstick thing better. I think she really want, runs away from things, and I don't think that's cool to do to your fans, subscribers, and people that help you make money. I don't like that, and I don't think it's cool. But, I will say, these brushes are fantastic. They really are. They're a bit pricey. They, I think, have like 25 brushes, if I'm not mistaken. There's good old Jacqueline herself. These are a hit. Absolutely recommend. I could have dealt with that, the case. Let me tell you guys something a little bit with the case. See how the case opens right here? They are a monster. It's got the Morphe symbol here. I do like the case, but here's the problem with the case. Check this out. Sorry, guys, I know this is long, but I've been, I, I like to show you guys things, and yes, I do, haven't used them all, but I do put them back in, and then I will clean them as I use them all at once. So, here's the thing, check this out. So, you really got to kind of scoop them all to one side, 
and then make sure you got them all over there and then boom and then you got this little fabric piece here that's inside that sticks out see this little fabric thing you got to make sure that's pressed in now is this a cool box for travel airplane bus train and uh, train plane automobile yes i do like that it's hard but you got to really make sure you shift them all to one side so that's a recap on the products that we have tried in the last couple months last couple weeks if you're new to the family my name is kaya if you wouldn't mind subscribing it would really help me out leave a like Shoot me a dislike if you didn't like this video and tell me what was your favorite product out of this video and have you been lucky enough to find hand sanitizer. Go tell Kitty it is Kitty Sub Boxes. Let her know Kaya Simon's life sent you. It's always nice to let other people in the community know that we have our own little community. We are a small little group, but we are a strong little group voiceful group we don't sugarcoat things around here as i say hold on i want to make sure yeah kitty sub boxes k-i-t-t-y hyphen s boxes kitty's boxes tell kitty kaya sent you kaya simon's life and thank kitty if you do buy something for the code because i don't want to take credit kitty did find the code jackie none of this is ever sponsored thank you so much for joining me have a great night a great day depending when you see this and kaya out